All right, hello, welcome back everybody. PayPal and Patreon are down below if you want to support me, only do so if you actually can. So, we're just talking this time about the background that underlies the decline in a number of countries' oil consumption, oil demand levels over the course of time. You'll notice some countries, like the US and Canada, for example, are relatively stable or plateaued in their oil demand. Other countries across the world, like China, India, Vietnam, Australia, are still growing in their consumption levels. And then there's a number of countries like Japan, Germany, the UK, France, that have been declining long-term in their oil consumption levels. And again, we're talking about the long-term trend, not the brief massive drops that we saw during COVID, as in the developments that we're seeing over, usually, if you look at most of them, the last two or two and a half decades. And those have come about because of a specific number of things, the first of which is, and you'll probably remember this becoming a topic or beginning to emerge as a thing in the mid-2000s or so, and that is the fuel efficiency push that came about where you saw initially, for example, the first emergence of hybrid vehicles with the first Toyota Prius getting around 45 miles a gallon, the second around 50, the third around 55, and now the newest one capping out next to the Hyundai Ioniq up around 58 or 59, as 60 miles per gallon is about the ceiling, about the maximum threshold, for a regular-sized, regular-weighted car, at least in the American-Canadian market terms, as outside of the U.S. and Canada, in many European nations, and especially over in Asia, in Japan, you'll also often see a lot of really small vehicles that would be not illegal, but socially unacceptable in the U.S. and Canada for someone to be seen driving around, and a lot of these vehicles are not even hybrids, they just get similar miles per gallon to hybrids for the simple fact that they are really small, they don't weigh very much, and they have small engines that have sort of a power cap, are designed to not really output a huge amount of power, which is another thing specifically tying back to the U.S. and along with it the Canadian car market, where a lot of cars over here specifically are less fuel efficient than they otherwise could be purely because engines that get put into a lot of cars sold in the North American market are specced up to have a higher minimum power output because engine power and acceleration and everything is used as a lot of marketing selling points in the North American car market. But anyways, that's one of the major factors is the upsurge in fuel efficiency over the last 20 years. And that also manifested in aircraft as well, granted not to the same proportional increase, but nevertheless, aircraft like the A350 or the A320 Neo series do burn 20 plus percent less fuel than their predecessors. The second of the three main factors, the factor in the middle sort of, is in some cases a increase or expansion in public transit, the increased use of it, particularly as fuel prices themselves have increased up and down by drastic amounts off and on over the last 20 years or so. And then now another factor that is adding itself, especially in some cases more than others, such as Japan, is demographics. As some countries, Japan just being the best example out of the ones we've mentioned, have been tipping over certain scales where bigger and bigger chunks of their currently existing population are aging past the usual age block that is active or that works, goes places, buys a lot of stuff, travels, does this and that. So as larger and larger portions of their population get into the older age brackets, they become much less active, stop working, stop buying a lot of stuff. And that then obviously produces a corresponding drop in oil consumption for a country. So that's it for this one. Thank you, everybody, for sticking around and listening. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. PayPal and Patreon are down there if you want to support me. Only do so if you actually can. That free data access drive is linked in the description where you can find graphs and charts and things of all kinds of stuff. A link to my photography Instagram is there as well. 
and a link to my cat's YouTube channel is in the top pinned comment. May God bless and protect all of you, and I will see you all around next time.